Where are you going? Since when do I need your permission to move around? I wasn't saying that you do. So I'm not sure why you're biting my head off about it either. Oh, that's so typical of you. How can you be so relaxed about all this? At this very moment, the enemy is doing who knows what behind the scenes. And yet we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs in Ganeth Haros. I know that. But our hands are tied right now. What do you want me to do? And what's gotten into you anyway? Is there something you want to say to me, Xion? Look, you're right. Forget I said anything. If I said something to hurt you, I'm sorry. But I honestly don't know what I said to upset you so much. I really wish you would tell me. You don't need to apologize. You didn't say anything. It's not your fault. It's not anyone's fault. Not really. Then why? Please just drop it. I don't want to talk about it. All right. If that's what you want, I won't push any further. I'm sorry. <sighs> it's fine. Just... Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? to rest is work. Because that's the way people were made to think about every aspect of their lives. I know she doesn't mean anything bad by it. I know that, but... It looks like she went out of town to take care of her son's body. That's a little concerning. There are Zoogles roaming around out there. Yes. What? Ha <laughs> 
I'm afraid not. I'm sorry. Rinwell. Huh? Phew. Hmm? Good. speech you gave back there was pretty impressive, Al. <sighs> Something's eating at you again, huh? I don't know if I would say that. I just... I mean... <sighs> Actually, I guess I do have one or two things on my mind. My people, we lived in hiding. So we never really experienced the full extent of Renan oppression. Not directly, anyway. After Almadria killed my mother and father, though, I... I guess that's when I started hating them so much. The Renans, I mean. But then I think of all those people who were born into slavery. The ones who never even got angry in the first place because it was all they ever knew. I hear you. Every city we've been to... It's the Resistance that gets labeled the troublemakers for having the guts to do the right thing. When it comes down to it, sometimes I wonder which of us really has the better way. You can't let your anger eat away at you, Rinwell. But then again, losing your parents that way... Hell, who could really blame you for it if you did? <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is... Uh, sorry... Hell, it's hard putting this stuff into words. No, I get it. You're saying that grief and anger are different than hatred. I never thought of it like that. But hearing you say it, it makes sense. Thanks, Law. Uh, you're welcome? I think we've helped these people just about as much as we can. They're going to need more long-term aid than we can provide on our own. You're right. We need to ask the other realms to send help, and fast. Enough... Other... to hurry and find a way out of Ganeth Haros. Agreed. We'll start looking for a way out tomorrow. For now, we should spend the day resting up while we can.
What's that noise? Calvin, this is bad! Look at the sky! Huh? What's happening to Renna and Lenigus? It looks like Lenigus is transforming? But into what? What's going on? How the hell are we supposed to fight the Renans if they're packing that kind of arsenal? It seems they've broken their silence at last. My concern is that object they've dropped into the water. It's as if they're driving a literal wedge into Dana. Not just into Dana, but her own resistance, too. And what's with that beam of light coming down from above? Got any idea what that could be? Astral energy. Are you serious? All of that is astral energy? But that... It's a lot for sure. Not even all the astral energy harvested by every lord combined compares to that column. They're trying to squeeze every last bit of energy out of the planet. But why? I thought they only needed to harvest astral energy as part of the crown contest. Who cares? If we don't stop it now, the whole of Dana is going to be hollowed into oblivion. Uh, oblivion. Do you think that red woman is behind this? It certainly wouldn't surprise me. Just as the Sovereign, the Maiden, and all five Master Corps are gathered in one location, she appears out of nowhere bearing a sixth core. She then forces the two of you to help her assemble the Renis Alma. Just what kind of person is this woman? You mean you don't know her? Pardon? She was there at your palace, wasn't she? I figured you knew who she was. Are you saying I should be familiar with this woman? Well, sure. I remember seeing her with you back at Ottolina Palace several times. Everyone in the Guard always wondered who she was. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing her with Balsif, too. You saw her, right, Shion? Shion? Oh, sorry, I drifted off. As far as I remember, the first time I saw her was when we ran into her in Pelegian. Seriously? How could you two not notice her before? She sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess I always figured she kept an eye on the Lords for the Ren in Top Brass. You're sure you don't remember ever seeing her before? I'm certain of it. My memory has never failed me. But if it's not that, then... We'll get to the bottom of this later. Right now, that wedge is a bigger concern. Well, what are we gonna do then? We're not gonna be able to leave Ganeth Haros until we come up with a plan, right? Cislodia lies beyond the northern mountain range. Yeah, but we haven't found a single route through those mountains while we've been here. And we haven't gotten clues from any of the freed locals either. Surely there must be a way through. This realm can't have been completely isolated from the rest of the outside world for 300 years. Volron may have simply sealed and hidden it. Okay, then let's try asking the townspeople again if they know anything. Who knows? We might have missed something the first time around. Sounds good to me. Better that than trying to build a boat from scratch. Let's start searching.
That must be Rena's true power. I imagine there would be something, but not to this extent. What's gonna happen now? We ask around. Let's do what we can. Hey! I bet the whole of Dan is losing its mind right about now. And just when we'd finished liberating all the realms. So much for things getting somewhere close to normal. It's too calculated. As if whoever's behind all this was watching us. The people of Pelegian seem pretty unfazed given the circumstances. They've yet to get the full range of their emotions back. Maybe it's for the best. Can you imagine the panic otherwise? Yeah. We wouldn't have been able to leave, that's for sure. Whatever Lenegus is planning, it's a fair bet this wedge they've sent down is just the beginning. Even now, they're stealing away Dana's astral energy as we speak. Come on, we don't have much time. Forland Mountains, exactly. Those are the mountains you encounter if you walk deep enough into the lava tomb. Marshlands. I don't remember there being any sort of path like that around there. It's possible we overlooked something before. It wouldn't hurt to look again.
Hey, look! We've got way more animals! I never imagined lo- I would have a knack for husbandry. Makes sense since they're on the same wavelength. <laughs> You're making me blush over here. Yeah! Hmm? <laughs> hmm. How did it come to this? You're a beautiful woman, Xion. That's a good thing, right? Wait, Kisara. Hey, Kisara! <sighs> How did it come to this? Here! Let's heal this one! This one's mine! It's over! I'm 
Tremendously. The speed and precision of your aim is simply unmatched. Get out of this! 
on your knees. How about this? No, let them I owe you one. I'll take out the legs with my shield. Right. Demon Fang! Look at the way they I'll and stop and charge. Thank you, Sarah. You're fightier than you look. You can't yeah. change the future without getting your hands dirty. Dramatic. Finish it! Hey! Throw them away! Take it! Keep help this! Stop! Stop! Even break a sweat. to cook here. Just great. Well... <sighs> anyway, I should get to work on dinner. Oh, we already started. We've got it covered tonight, Kisara. Just relax and leave it to us. <sighs> I see. Well, I'll leave it to you then. We don't have a lot of ingredients though, so don't go overboard, okay? Guess I'll do some laundry instead. Hmm? What, what does it look like? We're doing laundry! Obviously. Yeah, I guess you are. You're not trying to clean them by smacking them around again, are you? Of course not. I have a good memory. Once someone yells at me, I don't forget it. He's fine, Kisara. I've been keeping an eye on him, and there haven't been any problems. Oh, good. If you say so, Alfin, then I have nothing to worry about. Hey! How come you don't trust me when I say it? Just don't squeeze too hard or else you'll damage the fabric, okay? Yeah, I get it. You know, if you keep making that face, it's gonna stick that way. What was that? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. <clears throat> well, if there's nothing for me to do, I guess I'll head back. I suppose I should take this as a sign of how much they've all grown, but... Oh, Dohalim, what are you doing here? Simply admiring our campfire as I await dinner. I find watching the flames dance can be rather inspiring. <laughs> Just the same as always, then. Although I'm sort of relieved. Oh? And here I thought you were planning to scold me. Why? Did you want to be scolded too? No, I wasn't saying that. Hmm. The night is aglow with star and firelight. Yet what I hold most dear are the words of a friend. That's not like your usual poetry. Are you trying to tell me something? Brimming is thy soul with words yet unspoken. <laughs> 
Okay, I get it. You want me to talk to you about it. To hear your words of worry, I can but sit and wait. <laughs> I said I get it. I guess I'm just struggling with how capable everyone's become these days. I'm proud of them, but I'm not sure what I contribute to the team anymore. So, I guess it's been troubling me a bit. Hmm. They don't need me for chores or fighting anymore. And I don't have much in the way of feminine charm. But aside from being a soldier, do I have anything else to offer? And if not, then what good am I? I can't help worrying about it. Hmm. Lost though you may be, with Utopia but a dream, life without you would be- <sighs> Dohalim. You're right. I still have Migal's dream left to fulfill. And we still have the fight ahead of us to overcome. With you by my side, even the bitter- Okay, I think that's enough poetry for one day. Hey, dinner's ready! Wow, you look really happy, Kisara. Uh, oh? I'm just excited to see what you two have cooked up. Dohalim, all of your replies last night were poems. What was that all about? Hmm, I suppose I was struck with poetic inspiration. Did it strike your fancy? Yes. I found it to be quite elegant. I'm afraid... My memory of them is a bit faint. Could I trouble you to recite them for me? No, you cannot. Remember them yourself. Yes! Well... Hmm? Right. Very nice. Yes. Right. Just a minute. Ugh. Yes! Hey. What? Very nice.
Lemon. She owns stuffing bread with marble curry. <laughs> now I can eat this every day. Jeez, Xion, you're hooked on that stuff. We've reached our destination. Let's see what's going on around here. Yeah. No way. All right? <sighs> hmm. You don't say. <sighs> Stay calm. you shouldn't have gotten your hopes up. I felt moved by people whose love transcended the boundary. <sighs> huh? Ridiculous. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads.
You can never be too prepared. But did we have to spend so much? I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. <sighs> My books are okay. That's no ordinary stray there. We'd best stay out of its way for now. Take this! Take a Now! Well, it's really! Take it down! 
down! Elusive Fire Time to burn! Hurricane Nothing! One victory. Sure he's not just trying to hide from us?
That was quite the little adventure we went on. Hello. I see. Hmm. Oh. Why Volrons whereabouts? Don't they know where their own sovereign is? Considering we've come across. him the world over. He's likely been operating. It... On his own for a while now. Maybe even his own subordinates were just toys to... perhaps or burgers no no mashed potatoes oh, it's so hard to just Good. This came out just the way I hoped. After mastering countless recipes and gathering enough ingredients to last a lifetime, I finally cooked my greatest, grandest masterpiece! Mabo Curry! This is a specially made, one-of-a-kind batch. It contains only the best combination of spices, chosen after a lot of trial and error. You're... Spices. Uh, I think I'll have some later after everyone else. I'm not that hungry right now. You sure? It does smell pretty tasty now that you mention it. The heat from the spices is intense, but not persistent, so it's easy to go back for seconds. You're making a good case for your curry, Alfin. What the hell? Serve me up! Um, mmm. Oh, wow. This is actually good. Mmm. To be honest, I'm a little scared how my stomach will handle all these spices later. 
but they really do bring out the flavor. Indeed. The spiciness has been so finely tuned. Why, I dare say you've made true art, Alfin. Right? I knew you guys would like it. Like it? I love it! This is delicious, man! La, really? Don't talk with your mouth full. There's plenty for everyone, so eat as much as you like. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? <sighs> What's wrong? You're looking pretty down. Hmm. Something on your mind? Yeah, you could say that. It's just, well, there's something that's been eating away at me for a long, long time. Do you mind if I share it with you? Of course not. I'm glad to listen. See, my mom and dad used to tell me I shouldn't go around casting magic. But there was one time I did, behind their backs. And when I did, Almadria showed up. Huh? I... I hated Almadria for destroying everything I loved. But what I hated most was myself. For breaking my promise to my parents. Even though I swore I'd get revenge, there was always this nagging part of me that wondered if I even had any right to do so. Rinwell, it was Almadria who killed your family. Don't torment yourself over one mistake. How can you say that when my mother and father died because of me? This may not comfort you much, but I'll say it anyway. I have a feeling your parents always knew something like that might happen. What do you mean? There was always a chance that someday, someone was going to find you and your family. But even knowing the risks, they still taught you magic. And there are two reasons I can think of for that. First, your talent. Second, they were hedging their bets. Huh? On what? On you, Rinwell. On how you turn out when you grew up. Sure, learning magic may invite danger, but it would have been even more dangerous to live in hiding without being able to defend yourself. They knew what they were getting themselves into when they taught you magic. And I think they did it because of how much they loved you. Because... Because my mother and father loved me. Sorry, I know I shouldn't be putting words into your parents' mouths. No, it's okay. I used to think I would have been better off if I never knew how to use magic. And if I'm really honest with myself, sometimes I still think that. But after traveling around with all of you guys, I've learned that there are things I can do with magic. That there's a point to it after all. So I'm going to keep trying. I'm gonna try and accept it as part of who I am. I want to use it to protect my friends. To protect the future of Dana. Do... do you think that's selfish of me? Not at all. I wouldn't want it any other way with you, Rinwell. Night, everyone! Thanks to you, I was able to rest easy.
water. Armored soldiers! Some of Volron's former guards. Let's take them out quick before things get messy. Oh, glory unto Volron! Lay down your arms, and no one has to get hurt. Silence! Traitors like you shall never walk free. I need mean, you. You are stubborn, but you don't have to be so damn dramatic. You picked the wrong fight! Ah! Its defenses are down! Ah! Oh, we need to get done! In an instant! Impact block! We work well together. Like a finely timed wall. Armor one save you! Take it! Burn it down! Does it hurt? Does it hurt? I'll take you all on! Attack and defend! You do everything! In the Royal Guard, that's the job description. Speaking of job, we should get to finishing this one. Take this! Now let loose! Hell in the arcade! You're ready! Ready for Astral energy! Say no more! What's with the hole here? Is that supposed to be their hideout? It doesn't look like it's freshly dug, whatever it is. Maybe it's the entrance to a path to Cislodia. <sighs> Everything all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. I don't know when it happened, but we sure are hauling a lot of stuff these days. I was just thinking the exact same thing. Glad to hear I'm not the only one. We should probably clear some stuff out, like our old weapons we're not using anymore. They must be in pretty bad shape by now. No way. Those are still good as new with a little polishing. If anything, I'd say all our armor is what's weighing us down. But that armor's also still good once you fix it up. Besides, Better to have too much armor than too little. You can trust me on that one. Well, what about all these dumb old antiques we're lugging around? If we sell those off, that should lighten our load. Simpletons such as yourself who can't appreciate the true worth of such things is how precious art vanishes from history. Pretty art's not gonna save you in a fight, man. Stop it, you guys. This is no time to... All I really meant to say is, you can tell how much we've been through by everything we're carrying around. Honestly, that's all. Oh. My deepest apologies. It appears that I may have rather overreacted. Yeah, I guess it's only natural we'd have so many souvenirs by now. I might have been out of line too. I guess all this stuff really is a sign of how far we've come together. Yeah, every little piece is its own treasure filled with memories. Barely a blip on our radar. Tell me, Alfin, wherever did you learn how to wield a sword? I was wondering the same thing too, actually. I'm guessing you knew how to fight before you met the Crimson Crows, right? I used to be a soldier who served a Danon master. I never saw the guy's face, but I still fought for him because he was my employer. Looking back, it wasn't all that different from being a slave. A Danon master? That must have been before the Renans brought you to Lenigus 300 years ago. You must fight using real Danon techniques, then. Really? We used to have our own sword arts? There's a lot of our own history we've lost since the Renans first invaded. 
It's not all magic and art. I'm sure it includes things like sword styles, too. It's incredible and also a little surreal to see those arts still survive after all this time. Not only that, but I first learned these moves while serving one ruler, only to end up turning my sword on the ruling class altogether. Pretty ironic when you think about it. I apologize if I dredged up unfortunate memories for you. Nah, we're good. It's in the past now. All we ever did in those days was stir up trouble. You're using those skills for a good cause now. It's not all bad. I suppose this is what people mean when they say that every cloud has its silver lining. Exactly! He's using those sword skills to make the world better. Could be a lot worse. True enough. I will stop worrying about mentioning it then. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. No wonder we couldn't manage to find them. They've been holed up here all this time, hiding. The remnants of Voron's forces. You think they were planning an ambush on Pelegian? Possibly. Then again, knowing how blind their devotion is, maybe they were just waiting. Waiting? For Voron, you mean? Even though we already defeated him? But... Yes, I suppose you're right. For these guys, that would just be a technicality. They act more like worshippers than subjects. They're probably still in denial that he was overthrown in the first place. Either that, or they were biding their time until the next crown contest. Either way... Their allegiance is to their lord. Who they're convinced and expectant will return. So in the meantime, they wait patiently in preparation for the day that he finally does. That's way more than just loyalty. It's no less than total subjugation. Noticed it, haven't you? Notice what? I'm referring to Shion. I never thought you of all people would come to me about her. Yes, well, what concerns me has more to do with what machinations may be currently unfolding in secret on Lenigus as we make our way along this tunnel. And you're saying it's related to Shion in some way? Perhaps. She believed there was a good possibility that the Renis Alma may free her from her thorns. One would think after losing the Renis Alma, she would be more dismayed, and yet she isn't. Why? There's also the matter of the power that she inherited from. You heard what she said. She didn't know about the Maiden's power. Mere ignorance does not preclude her deep connection to the events unfolding around us. You recall when her thorns went rampant in Castle Del Faris. I've never seen dark astral energy manifest in such a way. I thought you said all Renans had dark astral energy inside of them. Correct. However, what Xion exhibited was far beyond what any ordinary citizen could ever possibly possess. <laughs> Let me be clear. 
I do not intend to cast doubt on Xion or her motives. Nevertheless, I cannot shake the feeling that there's more to all of this than what we currently know. Do you disagree? obvious that people used to go through here in order to get to the other realms. You think Voron really did seal it off to keep it hidden then? Seems like it. Those soldiers we encountered might have known about it, chosen to hide out here. But with the entrance collapsed and exposed, then... Must have been forced to come. Don't get careless. Don't tell Our me. Expert, coming through. Did that work at all? I'll smash you. Here Don't goes. Go. Man, they may look like human stuff. Come but they're fit. Mega ray. Man, thousand damage. Do it. Here's one. Free. Astral energy. Say no more. Shut. Well done. Well, well, done. Well, done. Well, done. Well, done. I owe you one dog. I'm freaking. Freeman, hey. Here, Do it! Alvin! Astral energy! Say no more! Well, look ye here! Out of our way! Your wings won't save you from me! Huh? Now where was I? We got flyers! I'm so innocent! Get toasty! Burn strike! Here I go! Far enough! Got you! Anything normal is all mine! By the power of water! Leave the enemy here to me! No complaints here! Now! Shion! Go for it! Prepare to crumble! Think we overdid it? Not by a long train! Here's the king of the world! Our free lancer! Don't mind if I do! I think we can get through this! Don't let up until it's over! We want that by a mile! I see supplies and other signs people were living here. Even Zugal cages. Definitely looks like this is where the remnants of Volron's forces hold themselves up. Yeah. They were hiding in a place like this all along. Let's dispose of the trash. Where are you going? Be careful, everyone. This one is yours. Come get me. 
Ready, let's free! Hurricane Strike! Here! Fully Here I come! Gemini Hulk ready! Look sharp! Right. We Strike. managed to turn the tide! For now! But things could shift at a moment's notice. You're right. Better stay alert. Hurricane Strike! Look sharp! Ready to Going in! Now we're out! Hurricane Strike! Look sharp! Look sharp! Where are you going? Stun guard! Looking fearsome, Winwell. You must be rubbing off on me. <laughs> Let's kick some ass, kid. Easy peasy. Ha, huh, Hoodle. I found some equipment. Let me... Take a look at it. Defense is a good offense. Everyone still in one piece? Yep. I barely worked up a sweat. My word. This must be the work of Providence. Prov what now? It means destiny. I think it's a bit of an exaggeration, though. 